and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a USB with the Gold Master Edition of 10.13. That is the final edition. It should be the same build number when released for the public on the 25th. So to get started, you're going to need a USB drive. I suggest buying a fast one that has a good read and write speed near an SSD. If you can't afford one, just partition your SSD into an 8 gig little mini drive and use that instead. But for now, we are actually going to be using this one. So just rename this USB like that and you're going to erase and that's all you need to select it as. Erase the USB and done. Next thing you need to do is you need to have a copy of 10.13 and to do this, you will be looking in the description below. I will have one in a Google Drive link along with this version of Clover here. Now, since I already do have it downloaded right here, we can continue on with the next step. And apparently it didn't save the last time that I did this. So I'm going to go type this in real quick and I will be back after that. Okay, so now that I have it typed in, this should really be it. And of course, I need to change where it says Hi Sierra uh, next to volumes into USB. Like this. Hit enter. It will erase the disk and I will come back when it's done. Okay, now that this is finished, what we're going to be doing next is closing this out completely. And we're going to be installing Clover. So the installation is going to be different for everyone. But I'm going to show you what I do. I actually managed to switch to this one with no uh, issues whatsoever. Hey, I'm going back to this one. So that's what I do to install Clover. And of course, that's going to create a nifty little uh, EFI folder right here, which we're going to be adjusting in just a second. And here we go. So first things first, you're going to want to just straight up delete this because honest to God, you would have to be crazy to use that. Okay, the next tool that you're going to need is called Clover Configurator. For those who do not recommend Clover Configurator, you're drunk off your ass. Try telling a new user to open up a text document and type in a whole bunch of crap that you can just click to have. They're not going to like you very much. So we're going to use Clover Configurator. You're going to create a new uh, config.plist by clicking that button. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to implement a whole bunch of USB fixes like this. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to go to boot. You're going to hit dash V because if you have any problems, they're going to tell you to use this anyway so you can show what issues you do have. Okay. Now for me, I need to add that because that will allow me to use whatever green, which is AMD only in the installer. And next we're going to go to SM BIOS. This is important. If you already have a USB and you want to keep the EFI, you're going to need to update the BIOS, the SM BIOS like that. It has to show this date with this stuff. Okay. That's it. Now it will automatically generate you a board serial number. Copy this madness. Go to RT variables. Paste that in there. You're going to want to put 0x37 here. And 0x28 here. Okay. Click that if you must. Now for system preferences, generate new. The next thing you're going to want to do is UI, UID gen. 
No? Okay, is it Gen UUID? Hmm. Give me a second. I think I UID. Weird. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. UUID gen. There we go. So it's UUID gen. I do get it mixed up a lot. And you're going to paste that in there. Okay? So, as of doing that, there is a 50% chance that iMessage will officially work out of the box for you after install. And that's a pretty good chance. Okay? Next, go to System Parameters and hit Yes. And I tend to expose variables for a reason and inject System ID. Eh, I don't know why. I'm just a stubborn ass. So after that, you're going to hit Save. And you're going to go to the EFI. Like this, Clover, hit save, done. Next, you're going to need to get your kexks in there. So I'm going to include fake SMC, um, a real text kext, the Intel mozzie kext, and the killer net kext. Those are the only three. So there's going to be two real texts, one Intel, and one killer neck. All right. I'm also going to include Lilu and whatever green if you're an AMD user. If not, don't bother with those kecks at all. Other than that, that is how I make a bootable USB for 10.13. It's not as hard as you think it is. Clover will also be included in this package. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to put 10.13 stuffs. Okay and open that and boom and boom like that so you're gonna pretty much have everything I'm just gonna go get those extra kecks and jump them in now anyway guys thanks for watching uh, if you have any issues or whatever you guys can go to the Hackintosh reddit and join the discord that is there or you can join our Hackintosh Discord and hope to God somebody's on there available to help. Anyway, I got to go edit this thing. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.